Welcome back, dear viewers, to another episode of DIY Living Space Disasters, where we tackle the joys and perils of small living room challenges. In our previous episodes, we've conquered open wall cabinets, jazzed up drab laundry rooms, and even built a bookcase that doubles as a storage unit for all those <clears throat> extra clutters. Today, we'll explore the art of rejuvenating tired living spaces, because let's face it, our living rooms have seen better days. In a world where square footage is a luxury, it's time to get creative and inject some much-needed life into these cramped quarters. Our mission is simple, laugh in the face of small space adversity and find clever ways to maximize every inch of our living room. Later, we'll dabble in the world of room division, tackling the challenges of 100 square meters of space and three other ideas to spark new joys in a dull living space. So join us on this journey as we laugh, learn, and maybe even shed a tear while we tackle the peculiarities of living in a small living room. Who knows, you might even find that these tight quarters are the perfect breeding ground for creativity, fun, and endless adventures. From the command center of Simp Home HQ, let's start the countdown. A Modern Room Divider Idea by Frank and Leone Gather round as we embark on a journey to transform Frank and Leone's quaint little living room in Verdun into the stuff of dreams. They yearned for a bright, modern, atmospheric space where the television didn't steal the spotlight. Armed with a 3D design, the stage was set for a fabulous makeover. Enter the brilliant solution, a sneaky sliding door that camouflages the TV within an open compartment. With a simple glide to the left or right, Frank and Leone cleverly conceal their screen, unveiling a realm of playful shelves instead. Beneath the magical realm lies a hidden lair for pesky electrical appliances ready to vanish from sight. But what's a makeover without fabulous materials? The cabinet, crafted from moisture-resistant MDF and adorned with three layers of high-quality white paint, provides the perfect canvas for this transformation. The rear walls, shelves, and sliding doors boast a veneer of real oak, ensuring a luxurious and durable finish. And let's not forget the star of the show, the enchanting lighting. Behold the energy-efficient, remote-controlled inner space spotlights from Philips Hue casting a warm glow over the room. Even the sockets and wiring for the lights, Sonus speakers, and TV are masterfully concealed within the cabinet, as if by magic. Join us in celebrating Frank and Leone's whimsical living room metamorphosis where playful shelves reign supreme and TVs hide in plain sight, a true testament to the power of creativity and design. An inspiring blue flat living space transformation. Round up, folks, as we unveil the jaw-dropping transformation of Eric and Marie's humble abode. You see, this large family had a problem. Four rooms in 100 square meters just wasn't cutting it. So they sought the help of mastermind architects to conjure up a fifth room. Abracadabra! With a wave of their drafting wands, the architects transformed the apartment, relocating the living rooms to bask in the glow of sunlight and the serenity of tree-lined views. But our family didn't stop there. As furniture aficionados, they craved custom-made pieces to optimize their space. Enter the Enchanted Bench, an unassuming entrance piece that secretly stores shoes, mail, and keys. Meanwhile, the kitchen morphs into a cozy bench seat, turning into the heart and soul of the apartment. It's like a shape-shifting superhero. One minute it's a kitchen, the next it's a living room. In the master bedroom, shelves in a perfectly placed desk create a charming haven. And don't forget the pace de resistance, the cabin bed. This magical contraption offers a world of possibilities for the children's room, so join us on this fantastic journey through the realm of clever design, where no room is too small and every square meter can become a family's dream come true. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the art of living large in a small space. How to give a dull living room closet door a fresh sunburst effect? 
Ladies and gentlemen, sum it up as we embark on a magical journey of turning dull, boring closet doors into a vibrant sunburst masterpiece. Let's face it, we've all got that small living room with the awkwardly placed closet that just screams, Help me! But fear not, for we have a step-by-step -step guide sprinkled with humor to help you transform those closet doors into a work of art. Step 1. Bid farewell to the old mirrored doors and embrace the new bifold doors. It's like a Cinderella transformation, but for closets. Step 2. Measure, measure, and measure some more. Channel your inner mathematician and mark those lines with a yardstick, tape, and pencil. Precision is key, my friends. Step 3. Time for some manual labor. Grab a handsaw or a power saw if you feel fancy and start cutting those dowels. Sand them for a smooth finish. Step 4. Unleash your inner artist and map out that sunburst using washi tape or a yardstick and pencil. Adjust as needed because who doesn't love a little spontaneity? Step 5. Saw your embroidery hoop in half, glue it into the doors, and start cutting those rays. Remember, it's all about the angles. Step 6. Time to bring out the big guns. The nail gun, that is. Nail these dowels in place, ensuring they line up perfectly. Teamwork makes the dream work. Step 7. Fill in those pesky nail holes, sand, and paint. Behold, your new masterpiece is nearly born. Step 8. Add some brass handles for that extra touch of glamour, and there you have it, the perfect sunburst closet doors for your small living room. Who says you can't live large in a small space? A DIY shoe cubby project idea for a more impressive entryway. Dear subscribers, huddle together as we embark on a comical journey of building the ultimate shoe hubby. With every step, we'll laugh our way through the trials and tribulations of DIYing for our living rooms. Step 1. Cut, polish, and practice your ninja skills on those wooden boards. Sandpaper is your best friend, folks. Step 2. Attach sides to the top with a bit of acrobatics. Here's a challenge. Try not to drop the side pieces while attaching them. Step 3. Drill pocket holes for shelves. A great opportunity to unleash your inner spy. Stealthily hide those holes on the bottom of each shelf. Step 4. Attach the shelves with precision. Channel your inner architect while balancing dividers to get that perfect spacing. Step 5. Slide dividers into place and reposition them with a rubber mallet. It's like playing Tetris in real life. Step 6. Fill nail holes and blemishes with putty. Let's play a game. Spot the difference between your masterpiece and Swiss cheese. Step 7. Prime and paint with a little trial and error. Who knew choosing a color could be as tricky as solving a Rubik's Cube? But once you find the perfect shade, it's time to unleash the power of the paint sprayer. And there you have it, folks. A hilarious and rewarding journey to create the perfect shoe cubby for your small living room. So roll up your sleeves and let's conquer the clutter with laughter and style. Pipe Dreams, a hilarious tale of a DIY corner curtain rod. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for a hilarious adventure into the world of DIY curtain rods. If you've ever struggled with finding the perfect size for your living room, buckle up and enjoy this rib-tickling ride. In this episode of DIY on a Dime, we're using galvanized pipes and a pinch of creativity to create a custom corner curtain rod that's easy on the wallet. Materials, pipes, nipples, flanges, Tees, elbows, end caps, couplings, wood screws, TSP, and black spray paint. Sounds like a recipe for laughter, doesn't it? Prep. First, let's clean those pipe pieces with TSP. Learn from Jen's mistakes. She skipped this step and ended up with a spray paint fiasco. After wiping them down, give everything a generous coat of black spray paint for that chic industrial look. Assembly. Mark where the flanges go on the ceiling, channeling your inner Michelangelo. Attach those 
pipe dreams with wood screws and let the fun begin. For the corner, play a game of connect the plumbing parts, flanges, nipples, tees, and an elbow. It's like a game of Tetris, but way more satisfying. Add center support for longer rods and don't forget the end caps for a polished finish. Before you know it, you've transformed your living room with a stylish custom corner curtain rod for much less money. There you go, folks. Grab the idea and brace your inner DIY curiosity and conquer the curtain rod challenges and room decoration with laughter and style. Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.